everyone now as you all know we did miss me that was because of the dreaded covid but we're all okay now so today i'm going to show you how to make curtains especially today the ring top curtains so your most important thing is your measurement i like to double the width of my window the next thing is the tape so this is the eyelet tape and this particular one that we sell has these little plastic slips slips on them that's to keep the folds in place you don't have to have this you can put them off if you want to but i do like to use those the other thing that's important you will need an even number of holes in your eyelet tape otherwise it won't work because you need to start and finish with a, a, an end pointing in on if you were just doing one width if you've got a small window you just do one width curtain width is generally like 140 inches I'm sorry centimeters wide so on 140 centimeters you would need 10 of these you do need to make sure that you're starting your end one has got the tab on the outside because that comes in if you start here you've done it wrong so you've got to make sure that your outer tab has got the plastic tab on the outside and it's an even number so for one width which is 140 centimeters you're going to need 10 eyelet holes in your tape the fabric will be too wide but you'll just adjust that when you're making your curtains you might have to cut an inch off each side so we'll proceed and tell you how we're going to measure and make we're going to line them because they're better lined so you're going to measure your drop you're going to add six inches some people do two three turns and some people do two four inch turns i personally do, do two threes so you're going to add six inches on and you're going to, at the top you're going to add an inch on so if your overall measurement is 70 finished you're going to cut your pieces 77 so you've got two threes at the bottom and an inch at the top however your lining piece will be one inch shorter so your lining will be 76 and your curtain will be 77 this is just a really small piece so the first thing we're going to do find the middle of your curtain and the middle of your lining and you're going to lay that out there I've already pressed these hems up three inch and a three inch and the bottom three inch three inch the reason that your lining is one inch shorter is because that's where we want it to finish one inch above there it's a lot easier to machine hem these now just in the middle and leave three or four inches at each end same on your curtain for, e for quickness I'm just going to do a running stitch on these I'm just going to take them to my machine and do a running stitch and leave the edges there when you're doing this on the scale of a curtain it's a lot of weight to lift one curtain and then start hemming it so I would say do it this way hem it first I've just machine hemmed that and I've not gone right to the edge my pins are still in the middle so we're going to flip that over and we're going to right sides together and we're going to put that in the middle so we're pinning that in the middle because we don't want that to move now we're going to go to this end put it up this is our side seam and it looks a bit strange we're going to machine this seam we're going to stop where the lining hem starts so that's there okay the other end we're going to do the same thing I'm going to pull it over 
again we're, we're stopping where the lining starts so we're going through both pins right way around always start at the if, you, if you're going to do this always start at the top and come down or start at the bottom and go up but do both sides the same otherwise if it moves you're going to be slightly off so that's pinned okay I'm just going to go and machine that and come back go okay so I'm just doing a half an inch seam I have back stitched there and I'm going to come down this is why we don't do the hem right to the edge so we're going to come down on the half inch stop where we get to the pin back stitch there I'm going to do this from this side so I'm coming down and half an inch stopping on that pin and back stitching so you're going to go and press your seams now press them we're just pressing the seams open that's that one i have taken my pin out of there this is easier on a long curtain because you can get it on your ironing board this is just a little bit fiddly That's that done. Cool. So there we are. Now those two pins are going to go together. This, put your hand in there, and you're just going to work that back. So the curtain has come round. So you've got some of your curtain on the wrong side, which means that your lining doesn't go to the edge. You've got curtains at the edge there. Okay. All will be revealed when we turn it through. So what we've basically done, we've kept the middle to the middle. We've pushed out. So the curtain has come round at that side and it's come round at that side. We're now I'm going to stitch straight across the top. Again, I'm going to use a half an inch seam. So now we've stitched all across from one end to the other and that's a half an inch. So we're going to turn this through. Obviously it'll take a lot more turning through if you've got a whole, a whole width of curtain. So we're just folding that corner in. We're not going to chop it off, get my little hook in there, get that corner nice and flat, yeah, that's that one, and then that one's through, nice, it's a very nice tool this, now we are going to go and press this, when we're pressing it we're just going to roll it down so that there's no lining on the other side. And that's what I mean by rolling, just get your fingers in and roll it back and up. You don't want to see any of the lining on the other side. I'm going to come down to there. You can now see why we cut the lining. Did I give you the measurements for cutting your lining? You, you want to cut your lining. I'll just check that. I think it's three inches. Yes. You, so your lining is three inches shorter than your outer and it, in width. 
it's three inches on off on your width and one inch on your length so that's what you've got there so that's your curtain we're going to deal with the corners that's why we didn't sew right to the edge so now we're just going to finish the bottom hems off before we get anywhere near the top so we're just folding that in and I'm going to keep the the lining straight I'm not going to mitre the lining because I like I want it to stay dropped so this part so I've opened it up under where it's going to fold over and then we're just going to fold in from there and we're, what we're doing is trying to line that up with the edge of the seam there if that makes sense I'm going to pin that we've done that so what we're going to do now is you can do this by hand I'm going to do it on the machine for quickness we're going to pick up here where we left off and come down there and on the lining I'm going to come from here up and across to meet there so I'll just do that and then that's the bottoms are done and all we've got to do is the top so we're back to the machine we're going to keep the outside curtain out of the way and say so you can handle these or not so to you I'm just doing this I would I would hand sew this and I'm just doing that in a straight line so I'm just going to go to there To the actual curtain pick that up from there and this is where we're aiming that's the line that we're going to so we just want to keep that to pick up there you can cut your bulk off but I don't think it's nice to have a bit of weight in this turning round this bit I would definitely hand sew But for speed, we're doing that. So that's our hems finished. That one is just going to flop over that one. Now for the top. So this is our pretend curtain now. That's the right side. That's the wrong side. Let's get rid of that. So the lining is just going to fall below over those. So now we're going to put the tape on. I'm going to just bob that down half an inch. If you remember, we added a little, we added an inch at the top, so that was half an inch for the seam. And I'm just going to drop it down to there. We're going to get it central. I'm going to pin it on. If you were doing three inch heading tape, at this point you just put your three inch heading tape on, turn your ends in, stitch it down, pull it up and you're there. But I'm just gonna show you the, um, the rings. I am going to check this in a second. half an inch, half an inch, it's going to come down a tad, you can, uh, you can get quite good at eyeballing half an inch, so I'm going to go to the machine now, I'm going to follow that line, you can see that line, I'm going to put the edge of my foot on the edge and then I'm just going to go all the way around. 
So I'm lining my foot up. My foot. This this is a quarter inch foot from the needle to the edge of the foot. So I know that that's um, a quarter inch. Needle down, lift and turn. Get rid of that pin. Sew that out of the way. Needle down, lift and turn. Okay, so that's our sewing done, and I would normally use it, a cotton that matched. We're going to cut these holes out now, but we're not just going to go gung ho. What you need to do is draw a ring, and I'll tell you why we're doing that. Because if you just cut gung ho, you don't want to go. beyond those lines. If you're just cutting it, I'll show you once I'm in. So we're going to get into the middle to the end. And we're going to follow that line because we don't want to cut more or less. Now can you see how I'm pulling that in? If I didn't have that line, I might cut it bigger than I need. But that's just allowing me to get the correct amount of Just pull it away so that we can get on that line you don't want a lot of bulk otherwise it's difficult to get the ring on but by doing the drawing the line see that's perfect then we get one of our grommets onto the right side that's going to go over there and it pushes in did you hear that snap the grommet's on so we've got all our tabs on now and you'll see now what we're going to do this this is the goes in there and it twists and this one's going to go in here and twist and they lock now if I get my ruler and pretend use your imagination people that is our little curtain that's how you put eyelet tape in see you next time <laughs>